In this problem, a block is sliding from rest on a plane inclined downward 30 degrees from the horizontal. The vertical distance of the block from the level ground is 6 meters, which is this distance right here, at an angle of 30 degrees. Given the coefficient of friction that is equal to 0 0.25, we are tasked to compute the acceleration of the block in meters per second squared, the velocity of the block after moving a vertical distance of 2 meters from rest, and the time for the block to reach the ground in seconds. And to solve this problem, first, we need to draw the free body diagram of the forces acting on this block here that has a mass of m. So it has a weight due to its own mass, which we can resolve it into its tangential and perpendicular component acting along the inclined plane there is a value of mg sine of theta and a component that is perpendicular to the surface it has a value of mg cosine of theta and to maintain equilibrium it will also experience a force going upward that is normal to the surface which has a value also equal to mg cosine of theta this is the normal force acting on the body due to the surface and to oppose the force of mg sine theta, there's also a force of friction experienced by the body due to the surface. Let's call this force F. And since the body is moving downward, it will experience an overall net force. Let's call this F net force that's equal to the mass times the acceleration of the body. Now to compute for the acceleration of the block in meters per second squared, we take submission force along the inclined plane, all equal to mass times the acceleration of the body since it is moving considering this direction to be positive which is parallel to the inclined plane so we have the force due to the gravitational acceleration that is a value equal to negative mg sine of theta plus the force of friction that is going upwards equal to negative mass times the acceleration. It is negative because it is going in the opposite direction of our reference axis, which is this one. This is our positive x and this is our positive y. So plugging in the known values. And But first we need to solve for the formula for friction that is equal to mu times the normal force experienced by the block. There is a formula of mg cosine of theta equal to negative ma. Now notice that the variable m can be cancelled because it is common in all expression. So what is left in our equation here is just negative g sine of theta plus mu times g cosine of theta equal to negative a. And so for the acceleration, we'll just plug in the run values. We have g that is equal to 9.81 meters per second squared times sine with an angle of 30 degrees plus mu of 0 0.25 times g of 9.81 meters per second squared multiplied by cosine of 30 degrees equal to negative a. Solving, we get our acceleration that is equal to 2.781 meters per second squared. And this is the answer for the first problem. For the second problem, to compute the velocity of the block after moving a vertical distance of 2 meters from rest, let's say it's at this point right here, we need to compute for the inclined distance the block travels starting here starting from rest let's call this distance d so this angle here is 30 degrees to solve for d we utilize the sine function 
we have sine of theta that is 30 degrees equal to the opposite side of 2 meters divided by the hypotenuse of D. So D is equal to 2 meters divided by sine of 30 degrees. And that is equal to 4 meters. And after that, given our acceleration and the distance, we can solve for the velocity of the block after moving a vertical distance of 2 meters from rest by using one of the equation in kinematics, that is the final velocity squared equal to the initial velocity squared plus twice the product of the acceleration times the distance d. So manipulating this equation, we have Vf equals the square root of Vi squared plus 2AD. So plugging in the known values, we have the square root of the initial velocity of 0 squared plus twice the product of the acceleration, that is 2.781 times the distance in travel on the inclined plane, that is 4 meters. We get our final velocity equal to 4.717 meters per second. And this is the final answer for the second problem. And for the last problem, to compute the time for the block to reach the ground in seconds, first let's compute the distance going from the bottom of the incline to the point where the block is at rest. Let's call this distance d. And again, utilizing the sine function, we can solve for d. So by taking the ratio of the opposite side of 6 meters divided by the hypotenuse d, we can solve for d that is equal to 6 meters divided by sine of 30 degrees and this is just basically equal to 12 meters now to compute for the time we will utilize the other equation in kinematics given the distance d and the initial velocity and acceleration that is d equal vi d plus one half a t squared so plugging in the known values, we have 12 meters equals an initial velocity of 0 times time t that we want to solve plus 1 half of the acceleration, 2.71 meters per second squared, times the time t raised to the power of 2. Solving, we get the time for the block to reach the ground in seconds equal to 2.938 seconds. And this is the final answer for the last problem.